All right, Hammer, this is a tough one. I think that, I think I'm gonna tell you what, uh, what I discovered about this whole, the look. I've got more to add to the whole people are looking at me thing. Um, I had two situations, one where I was talking about uh, some victories of mine, um, and another where even the person at work, even the person that I was helping, uh, quickly agreed that I was polite, professional, and helpful. Um, and the first person was aware that I was talking about positive things in my life. So both these people gave me nasty looks um, to the point where I'm like, what just, what just happened? I don't think they were even aware of it. And, when the, and both of them were honest about it, which is, was fantastic. So I was able to get some information. Um, just like, you know, this punk rocker walking down the street, he gets a look, someone's looking at him, and obviously it upsets him for a reason. Um, we all get looked at, and some of us really like it. That's why we spike our hair or wear Godzilla suits. Um, but if I then come back to you and say, oh, I don't like the way I got looked at today. Um, it's not about the Godzilla suit, it's about the look. Um, so what, what is this look about? What have these two people told me? Um, now, I was telling this person about uh, victories and what happened in their mind when they were listening to me talk about some great things going on in my life is they thought about some of their uh, greatest failures. And that look that they gave me was almost an anger thing, because the person said, you made me feel like um, essentially a failure. Failure. They, they, they made me, I made them, I made them remember um, them trying to do something similar and it not working out. Uh, and the other person didn't, wasn't as specific, but um, Basically, they said that I, 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 no, actually they claimed it as, as them. They said, I felt funny. But I think what they meant was they felt stupid because I had to help them a lot. And I think that they weren't, for the, it was one of those things where you're not fully paying attention, you're thinking about other things, you're halfway through a long series of mistakes before you finally just kind of realize, I haven't done a single thing right this entire time. And then I'm just kind of patiently going, Okay, well, let's, let's start over. And then they're kind of looking at me and like thinking, well, this guy must be resenting me because he's running around trying to help all these people. He keeps coming back to me. He makes me feel stupid. Um, and uh, she kind of lashed out, at, lashed out at me. And that's when I said, have I done anything other than be helpful and polite uh, and professional with you? And she went, no. But she wanted to, I upset her, I upset her. And so she wanted to upset me. And I think that's what happened with the drinking fountain. When the guy walked in and asked me where the drinking fountain is, and I said, isn't that the drinking fountain? Um, I think, and he says, oh, I bet you feel real smart. I think what he meant by that actually is what I said made him feel stupid. We were both standing next to the drinking fountain and only I could recognize it. Um, so, about that, the punk rocker, like for instance, uh, when I was at Burning Man, I walked around a corner, and there's a huge guy uh, that we, we almost went, we almost went chest to chest, um, and he was dressed. Uh, he was one of the Thunderdome people, so he was dressed as a combative warrior, uh, big spiky hair, um, spiky collar, leather belts, um, you know, equipment hanging from his waist. You know, mysterious equipment might be weaponry. Um, and I had like a, uh, a gut reaction um, of a kind of a flash of uh, fear almost um, or maybe a flash of extreme caution um, but anyway I, I, I kind of danced to the side like that uh, instinctually but what if uh, what if I was the kind of person that uh, um, that making a, a feeling of fear, if this guy made me afraid, I would then resent him for it. 
um, just like the punk rocker walking down the street. Like uh, um, some guy looks over and sees this punk rocker and gives him a look because that, that look is about what that guy is experiencing inside. He sees this punk rocker and he thinks he's an anarchist. An anarchist means he likes to smash windows. That's what anarchy is about. Window smashing. Or just whatever kind of like just knee jerk, uh, you know, deep down uh, upsetting response to somebody else's appearance uh, or actions. Um, for instance, a woman breastfeeding, maybe the people, especially the people that suggest she should go into the, uh, the restroom, they're thinking, um, what you're doing is something dirty. Like maybe the whole idea of like exposing too much skin. Some people really freak out about that. Um, I, the, a nude beach I go to uh, had a guy that was so freaked out by it uh, that he, he actually galvanized the community and uh, like the police and uh, um, the local government there was like, we're going to start, we're going to actually, we're going to take you to court soon actually because you're costing us a lot of money by us having to deal with you. Um, and I think what, what was happening, he, he was seeing nudity and he was having some sort of, you know, you made me feel. And it was bad. He looked at something, um, something that I would think of as just um, almost nothing. Like that wouldn't bother me at all. But he had a strong negative reaction. Hila, don't eat whatever that is. Ugh. Oh, it's 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 worse than you think. Um, so I think this is this is what it is. It's people. Uh, looking at us with an emotion that doesn't really pertain to the situation. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, that's why those looks are disturbing. And that's why those two people I dealt with um, was really upsetting to me because I'm like, there was no way I could have anticipated uh, or helped this person not have this negative reaction. They've almost like set up booby traps in their own... Uh, heart, mind, and soul, so that if every, any time they're confused, they might lash out at the very person that's helping them. And then the very person that helps them, if I, didn't, if I wasn't curious um, and, uh, and, and kind enough and gentle enough to actually get the truth out of this person, um, oh, he's still got it. He's still got it in his mouth. Keela, no, drop it. Keela, drop it. No, no. All right, hold on a second. Keela, come here. Oh. And then he swallowed it. Yuck. Um, well, anyway, I think I made a point anyway. Um, yeah, I, I think that, uh, I think that's it. Um, you know, what do you think? <laughs> All right. I'll look at my disgusting dog, and then I'll see you later. <laughs>